Time for tonight's KMIR News Financial Report. Walmart is rolling out new low cost checking accounts. The nation's largest retailer is teaming up with Green Dot. Nearly 10 million American households do not currently have a bank account. And it hasn't been a week since the release of the new iPhone 6, but already there's a bit of controversy. The problem is that the latest version of the iPhone is too long and its frame is too thin and it's bending. And BlackBerry presented its new smartphone, the Passport, today. The launch of the new phone comes at a critical time for the companies that's in the middle of a financial turnaround. Joining us now, KMIR News financial analyst Brian Amade. Brian, let's talk about Walmart getting into banking. Yep. Is this a good idea for a retailer to venture into that whole world? Because it's a whole different thing when you start banking. Uh, I think it is a good idea, and uh, Gino, if you recall just a few weeks ago, CVS Corporation uh, eliminated selling uh, cigarettes and introduced a new whole health initiative that they were going to be running, and they're going to be doing, uh, you know, uh, vaccines and everything in the store. Uh, all of this is to drive in extra foot traffic. So Walmart has been expanding into a lot of different areas over the years. If you go in any of the super Walmart stores, and banking actually leads uh, and, and seems like a natural progression for them. There are a few things that I heard on the news today that uh, that are a little troubling and I don't know how they're going to go uh, you know get by some of these things but uh, but I think it's a good idea I think they'll gain some traction on it yeah let's talk about some of those things because they're already doing medical services in some place they do eyeglass services in some places but now you're talking about getting into banking 895 or something a month for a checking account and no overdraft fees yeah can the you have a bank and make money that way <laughs> well I don't know how you can I mean the most interesting thing about this is you got to remember people that generally go to Walmart uh, are going there because they're on a, uh, a fixed income. Uh, they have very little extra dispendable cash. And, uh, and many of them that don't have uh, checking accounts do it because they just can't afford the fees that are associated with it. So the 895 is not, uh, it's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. The problem is, is a lot of the people that may be opening up checking accounts with them may be bouncing quite a bit of checks. And that costs the bank money. So I don't know how they're going to recoup that money. So it'll be interesting to see what they do with ACH fees, with electronic transfers, and things like that. Things that, that really are set up and are offered free through regular banks right now, but regular banks get you on everything else. So it'll be interesting. It's an interesting business model. I just don't know if I would want to open up a uh, checking account with basically the Kmart of, uh, of banking. Right. One-stop shopping, though. There's certainly some appeal to that. There definitely is. All right. Brian Amity, thank you as always, thank sir. Thank you, Gino. Brian's with Hightower Investments here in Palm Desert, and you can reach him on the phone or online. We'll be right back.